look, at the end of the day, it's very simple. The studio wanted Army Hammer, and they wanted that name out there. I don't know why, but that was their pick. That's who they wanted. Maybe they just saw him as more the, the natural sort of Bruce Wayne type, whatever the case may be. That's who they wanted, and that's the name they wanted out there, and a lot more people than just myself heard it. There was considerable amounts of conversations between folks who worked at DC and folks who, folks who worked at Warner Brothers about the fact that Army Hammer was who the studio wanted. Now, of course, at the end of the day, they had to concede to whoever Reeves wanted because Reeves had full creative control and he had that whole power play early on in the process. So at the end of the day, Reeves would get his guy no matter what. But at the end of the day, the studio was hoping for Hammer and they were kind of sounding those alarms out there and there were enough people who were starting to hear about it that someone was going to run it and it happened to be me and you know what it didn't work out it is what it is you know because i to the best of my knowledge reeves never actually fully even considered hammer he was always just the studio's top pick and they wanted that name out there and even in the middle of all this you know the hollywood reporter has already confirmed that he was one of those names that was kind of floating around there in the conversation you know that's where warner brothers wanted his name to be in the conversation and i was just the poor schmuck who took the bait and i'm the one who put the bullseye on my head and published that story and honestly you know I'm done apologizing for that stuff but and I know I said I wouldn't apologize again but I actually am gonna apologize for something right here right now and that is to the two of you and to everyone else who contributes to Revenge of the Fans in whatever shape or form they do, whether you're a daily news writer, a, column, a columnist, a critic, a podcaster, whatever you do, if you've contributed any of your time to RevengeOfTheFans.com, I'm sorry for how this all panned out. And I'm sorry because I knew what I was getting myself into. I was fully comfortable painting that bullseye on my forehead. I was ready to take the heat, come what may. I was ready to handle all that. But at the time, you know, I was I was too focused on the fact that I thought that this could be a huge story. And I wasn't thinking about any potential, you know, ramifications against you guys. And you guys work so hard and you you volunteer and contribute so much of yourselves to the you know, to these shows, to the sites, to everything. And I'm just, you know, I, I'm sorry that I wasn't thinking about you guys at the time. I was thinking only in best case scenario terms. You know, for me, it was it was set. It was set. And by the way, you know, the, the level of confidence I felt, like with that level of confidence in mind, I really, you know, there's very little I would do differently about this, even with the benefit of hindsight. Even with what I know now, I probably wouldn't have done it any differently because I literally had three sources on it and my primary, who works for Warner Brothers, has been right for, with a bunch of other things. So that's why in hindsight, it's like, yeah, you know, maybe I should kick myself, maybe I shouldn't have done it. But at the same time, like, I don't, I'm not mad at myself for running it. I kind of had no choice. Given the track record of the people I was speaking to, given the the the, the 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 apparent urgency of the matter that it was starting to get out, be it the fact that this is a story that any writer, any reporter, blogger, journalist would dream of breaking, you know, I saw an opportunity and I thought, wow, this is this is too good to be true, you know? And then of course, you know, what ends up happening, you know, with things that are too good to be true often end up being exactly that, you know? And, you know, I just, I was, I was caught up in it. I was hot on the trail of what I thought would be the biggest, coolest thing ever. And I painted a huge bullseye on my forehead and, you know, I just wanted to apologize to the two of you and to everyone else who's contributed to revengeofthefans.com because, you know, I, uh, I have to think about your best interest because it's not just about me anymore. You know, we're a community, we're a team, and I owe you that much. So I'm sorry, guys.